what's going on YouTube? Today in this video, I will be doing kind of like a strange haircut. Well, it's not actually a strange haircut. It's really a drop fade with dreads. So what I'm actually saying, my client, Denim, you know what I'm saying? He want to drop fade underneath his dreads. So at the end of the haircut, you will see exactly what I'm trying to tell you because you know, it's hard to explain it, but easy to do. So let's just get into this haircut and let's just see what I'm talking about. Let's go. Of course you guys hear me tell you this in every video, make sure you comb the client's hair to the direction that he brushes it or comb it. But you know what I'm saying, you have to be very thorough. As I comb my client's hair, I'm looking for like, you know, indents in his hair, such as, you know what I'm saying, scars, abrasions, sores, or anything like that, because I don't want to run my clippers through his hair and knowing that he have very sensitive skin. But with that being said, man, just take your time and you know what I'm saying, Take care of your client because you know what I'm saying? Your client is valuable. Once a client sit in the chair, just take heed and you know what I'm saying? Just make sure everything is, you know what I'm saying, what it's supposed to be. Big shout out to gentleman, you know what I'm saying? He pulled through for that fresh cut, but uh, with that being said, you know, I'm just gonna take my number one guard. I'm gonna go with the grain, you know what I'm saying? For to make everything even so I can know where I can start my borderline. But with that being said, let's just go and get into the haircut and enjoy it. Now I take my stylecraft instinct, I start to make my first initial guideline. But when I get around the occipital bone, I kind of drop it at the back because you know what I'm saying? I want it to be like a little heavier at the back because that's how he asked me to cut his hair. But uh, at the end of the video, you will see what I'm talking about. And no, I didn't accidentally, you know what I'm saying, left too much heavy bulk on the back because you know what I'm saying? That's how he wanted his haircut. That's why I was telling you guys, it's gonna be like a strange drop fade. But it's gonna be a little heavier at the back, but you can just tell it's a drop fade. As you notice, I kinda like go down, and uh, I'm gonna turn him around, you know what I'm saying, make sure both sides are even. Then I come in and make my secondary guideline above my first initial guideline. I always go up an inch so I can have no room to fade because you know what I'm saying? I do not want to compress no type of fade. I mean, that's the way I've always been cutting. But uh, yeah, I just go up an inch and make sure everything is even all the way around the head and uh, pretty much it's self-explanatory. So let's just get into it, but remember to always open your blades and go up an inch. Now I'm in my fade down process. Before I even start working on the blend, before I put my number one guard on opening all of that stuff like that, I just want to work on my blend at the bottom first. I want to start, you know what I'm saying, work on that guideline because, you know, the guideline is actually the most important thing of the whole haircut process because you need that right there to guide you to the, uh, the blending process. So make sure you got your fade in and make sure you got everything locked in. And uh, other than that, that's where you put the blend on top of the fade. So that's where you see the crispiness <laughs> of the haircut. But uh, yeah, let's just enjoy the rest of this video because you know, I got gems for you guys, man. So 
Yo, yo, guys, I'm still working on my fade process. The only thing I did, I closed my clippers blades and I started, you know what I'm saying, knocked that little bottom line out. But I always remember to use your corners. And you know what I'm saying, you can kind of like nitpick at the hair because you can always see the dark areas. That's once when you have to look around, rest your eyes, and come back to the fade, and you'll see a different perspective. But yeah, remember, well, I do. I always work on my, you know what I'm saying, fade process before I move to the next, you know what I'm saying, level. how easy that was i'm done with the fade process now i'm working on my blend so right now i have my number one guard on open going up to you know what i'm saying to the parietal ridge area and another thing you know what i'm saying you want to knock them little hairs down that divides the long hair to the short hair but uh i have my number one guard on going up to the parietal ridge area knocking everything down to make sure it's even now i'm on my blend process the only thing i'm doing right now just going to start my blending process down so let's just get it. Guys, I had to slow this video down for a minute. I just want to show you right here where I drop it at the back. That's why I was saying it's a, like kind of like a weird drop fade, but that's how he wanted it. So that's how I gave it to him. You know what I'm saying? That's what he got. But with that being said, let's speed the video back up. Still have my one guard on. I just closed it to soften the bottom guideline up because I got to follow up with the zero guard closed. But remember to always make sure the hairs are knocked down even before you start the next process. But uh, remember to start using your corners as you get lower with your guards because the whole guard by itself, you don't want to push the fade up. Or you know what I'm saying? You don't want to you know, make any you know, spots in his head. But remember to always use your corners as your guards go smaller. Then I follow up with the zero guard closed to take that line out. Well, it's, the zero guard is not going to actually take the whole line out. So, you know, this is where I start telling you guys to start use your corners as the guards get smaller. But you're going to have to still go over the haircut, you know what I'm saying, just make sure everything is even. And adjust your zero guards as needed because, you know, just by being closed by itself, it's not going to actually really take the line out. It's going to kind of like push the fade up a little bit, but you need to adjust so you can always know to come back and do the detail for, you know what I'm saying, the dark areas. Then I come back about one guard halfway open, doing a little fine touch up because you know what I'm saying. I still see some heavy uh, bulk that I need to take down. And remember to always adjust when needed, use your corners when needed, brush the hair so you can just see where the fade lay down it. And uh, big shout out to my dog walking in the background, bougie. But yeah, let's just get back to the haircut. But you see how I'm dropping the fade at the back, so it's kind of like dark, but you know what I'm saying. It's like a shadowy dark fade i mean drop fade but it's clean though know? don't get me wrong it's clean so let's just get back into it
Okay, I'll take my gun so I'm going to have me do a little detailed work. Remember to use the corners, man, because remember, you don't have no guards on for the, you know what I'm saying, protect the haircut. No more. you just actually just doing detail. And I use about two or three of my teeth on my blade, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, I don't want to dig in too far and, you know what I'm saying, just make the fade, you know, I don't want to push the fade up at all. But remember to always use your corners, man. That's the most important thing when you're taking your guards off. So let's just get it. Look, man, one thing I like about my tutorials, hey, I don't edit nothing. Whatever I say, I say it. And, you know, if I stumble over my words, I want you guys to actually hear me stumble over my words. Because I know a lot of barbers out there, you know what I'm saying, they, they prep up for what they are about to talk about. But me, I'm just giving it to you raw. Pause on that. But with that being said, let's just jump back into it. What I do, man, you know what I'm saying, I divide the edge up from the long hair, you know what I'm saying, because of course he wants that cut down to a number one close. Because if I was to just to leave it like that, it'll look weird. Come on now. Don't nobody want no thick edge up with a nice fade. So yeah, I comb his hair down, I give him a true one close, and you know what I'm saying, I pop the edge up on him and you know, I just send him on his way. So let's just see what we can maintain out of this part right here. Alright guys, that was an ASMR moment for me, man. I just had to just stop and just watch myself cut, man. I mean, I'm watching a video as if I am already on YouTube watching somebody else cut. So that's why I was just watching when I was combing the edge up, spraying the edge up, brushing the edge up. Now let's talk about edging up the edge up. What you want to do, you want to start in the middle and work your way to, you know what I'm saying, his left shoulder or which is your right. But make sure everything, you know what I'm saying, is even because you want that line to be so crispy you can put it on the KFC menu. Then I fall back with the enhancements. Now, I just want to let you guys know the enhancements that I'm using, I will leave a link in the description below so you guys can purchase them. So, yeah, remember to always take your time because you don't want to overspray the enhancement because the edge up will look fake. But just take your time. Rome wasn't built in a day, but this haircut was built in a couple of minutes. But yeah, it don't take much to make something look good, man. This on my boy walked in, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Dennis for pulling up. But hey, man, I really appreciate you for coming in for to give me the opportunity to cut your hair. But guys, what further ado, this is the before shot. And this is the after shot. YouTube, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you already subscribed to this channel, man, give me a, leave me a thumbs up, man. But with further ado, this is exactly how my boy leaving out. But with that being said, man, I just want you guys to just take your time, look at that edge up, look at that bleed. And uh, on the side of his head, you know, he had like a, I think that's like a birthmark. So I don't want you guys to say, oh, Black Prince, you left a, a heavy spot on his head. No, I think that's just a birthmark on his head because remember before you cut anybody hair, I always remember to analyze the hair. But with that being said, man, I'm glad you guys stuck around long enough to see the transformation. May God bless. Black Prince, man. Real talk, man. Go follow my nigga. Real talk.